Uh, welcome friends to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. So in this presentation, which is presentation number three, and again a culmination of the, of the topic, we are just trying to uh, look at these two questions from the past papers. Okay. So the first question reads, the length of a wire is 5.2 centimeters, correct one decimal place. What is uh, its maximum possible length? So here, by maximum possible length, it means we are recognizing a fact that we have one interval. Alright? So if you have an interval, 1.5, I will still use this. This will equal to L uh, 2.5. So if this is the length of the wire in this interval, what well, that means that this is the, the, the lower limit and this is the upper limit. So this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So what the question is asking us to get is something like this, which is the upper upper limit. So we have to get the upper limit of that. Alright, so now, how do we get the upper limit? Uh, again, lesson 2, we looked at that. So we are saying the maximum possible length, right, is equal to the given dimension plus the absolute error. Alright, so in this case, we need to get an absolute error. Remember, we have only one dimension. There are two ways. Where you have got the true value and the recorded value, that's number one. Number two, where you only have one dimension, like in this case. So when we only have one dimension, like in this case, the approach for finding this guy, the absolute error, we are going to say absolute error is equal to half times the least unit of measurement. The least unit of measurement. Now, in lesson, I think, two, we talked about least unit of measurement. We said for any whole number, let's say five centimeters, its least unit of measurement is a what? A one. If you have got 5.1, its least unit of measurement is 0 0.1. If you have 5. maybe 25, there are two decimal places, its least unit of measurement will be 0 0.01. That's what we said. Right? So now, when you look at this, this is 5.2. How many decimal places? One. So the least unit of measurement is 0 0.1. So we are going to say this is equal to half times 0 0.1. And what we get? We get what is half of 0 0.1? 0 0.05 centimeters. So this is our uh, absolute error. So we have the absolute error, then we add it here. Sometimes they would say, they will, they will give you something like this. Alright, plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. It means in this case, the have already calculated the absolute error for you. Alright, so you just have to add if you want to find the upper limit. You subtract if you want to find the lower limit. Okay? So now, here we will say our maximum length is equal to, the dimension given is 5.2. Alright? Plus, our absolute error is a 0 0.05 centimeters. All right? So our dimension given is 5.2 plus 0 0.5. Uh, uh, so we have, when we add, what do we get? We get 5.25 centimeters. All right? I'm, I'm sure you're able to calculate that. All right? So that is our um, maximum possible length. Number two, I hope that is clear, friends. If you are asked to get the minimum possible length, you are going to say 5.2 minus this. Right? Okay, good. Let's look at the second question. We are saying the mass M of a block of wood is 876.4 grams. Collect one decimal place. Complete the statement below. The statement is dash, 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 dash. This will equal to M. This is the less equal to dash, dash, dash. So what we are supposed to do is, you get the value here and the value there. This value, this is an interval, all right? So when you have an interval, 1.5 less or equal to, m less or equal to, okay, for argument sake, let's put L, length, less or, uh, less or equal to 2.5. So this is the, the minimum value and this is the maximum value. That's what you are supposed to put here, all right? And this is the lower limit and that is the upper limit. So in short, we need to get the, the lower limit and the upper limit, then we replace. Okay, so we say 
lower limit and upper limit. Alright? So now, how do you get the, the, the lower limit and the upper limit? It's like here. So for the upper limit, dimension plus absolute error. So you need to get our absolute error here. Now, what is our absolute error? Here, our dimension had one decimal place, and our absolute error was 0 0.05. Even here, we only have one decimal place. So the approach will be the same. It will be half times the least unit of measurement. So half times, what is the least unit of measurement of a number that has got one decimal place? Is a 0 0.1. So even for this one, the absolute error will be the same. All right? Because they, they all have one decimal place. So we have 0 0.1. 0 0.05 grams. That is our um, the absolute error. Now, for you to find the lower limit, you are going to say the dimension minus. So our dimension is 876.4 grams minus the, the, the absolute error is what? 0 0.5 here grams. I can put a 0 here. There is a 0 here. If you want, you can add the zeros. So that's how you're going to get the, the, the lower limit. So here there will be three, here there will be 10, so five, here there will be three, here there will be six, seven, eight. This is our lower limit, okay? So for you to find the upper limit, you, you do the same. The dimension given 876.4, I can add a zero grams plus, uh, point zero five grams zero zero zero. You add like that, right? So zero plus five, you have five grams. This plus that, you have four. This is four, seven, eight. All right. So these are our values, lower and upper. Now we have to complete this statement. What does it mean? Therefore, simply means that now we are going to have eight. 76.35 grams less or equal to M. This is less or equal to 8. Uh, let's take note. This is supposed to be 6. Alright, so this is 6. 876.45 grams. So this is what it's supposed to, this is how the answer is supposed to be. So by this we are saying, this is an, uh, an interval within which an error should occur. Anything else like that means you have not measured well, we don't know how to measure. Right. Good. Now let's look at B. B, we are saying the length of a piece of wire is 5.2. Alright. The length. Is equal to what? Uh, 15.2 centimeters. Okay. This uh, this is correct to one decimal place. Now, what is the relative error of the length of the wire? Alright. So, if we recall the formula for relative error, we say relative error. Error. Is equal to absolute error. Uh, over two value. All right. So, in this case, what are we saying? Look, um, our absolute error here. Okay, this is the uh, part B. But our absolute error here was a, a zero point zero five because there was one decimal place. If one here is one decimal place, if one you can take the same approach. Our absolute error will still be a 0 0.005 v centimeter. So we we'll have 0 0.05 divided by what is the true value? It's a 15.2. So we have 15.2 by. Now why are we multiplying? We want to get rid of the, the decimal point. So there are two decimal places here. So you multiply by by uh, 100, All right? Over 100. This is a dummy number because it will cancel, it will be one. All right? There's nothing that we have done here. So here we have 
uh, 5 divided by, take note that this is 0 will move the point. So there will be 5, 1, 5, 2, 0. 1, 5, 2, 0. This is what we are going to have. Now, um, we can reduce that. 5 divided by 1, 5, 2, 0. So here we are saying 5 into 5 is a 1. So we have 1 over. 5 into 5 is a 1. 5 into 2 is a 0. Alright? So now we say 5 into this is a what? It's a 4. So we have 1, 0, 4 as in our answer. The final answer. So we have 1 over 1, 0, 4. That is the our Okay, take a note here, we were too quick here. Uh, we're a bit fast. We are saying 5 into 5 is a 1, but 5 into 15 is a 3 and not 1. Alright, so it needs to be 0 for now. I think now we are doing the correct thing. Alright, I think 1 over 3 is 0 4. So even here, you just do that. Um, I hope uh, the presentation is okay. So if you have liked our presentation, just subscribe to the, the channel. And you can even press the like button. Okay, so with me, I have some questions that I want you to, to, to attempt, but I'll just expose them to the, to the camera. I hope you'll be able to see. <coughs> I hope they are clear. All these are from past uh, papers. And also attempt this from this book. Okay, it's one of the books that we are using. Okay.